a few different pieces of notions um, that you need. First being, if you're going to sew view A with the hardware on the handle strap, what you need is rectangular D-rings, also known as rectangular rings. Um, they, you need them in a two inch diameter and you'll see actually both sets of these are sold as <laughs> two inch rectangular rings. Um, what the difference is, is that this one has a two inch internal diameter, this one has a two inch external diameter. So this is the two inch internal diameter is going to fit the purse strap perfectly because it is two inches across at the point at which it goes into the hardware. Uh, the smaller uh, slightly smaller rings that have the two inch external diameter will also work. You're just going to need to bunch your fabric in a tiny bit right at the point that it goes into the hardware, but really this that actually works and looks just fine. So if you can only find ones with two inch internal diameter or that's what you end up getting, don't worry about it. Um, you want uh, two of them, one for each side of the purse, and again the uh, vertical distance or the height of the ring doesn't matter that much. Um, this one is a one inch, this one I think was sold as three quarter inch. Um, doesn't really matter that much, that's still enough room that you will be able to fit your straps in without a problem. So that's the hardware that you're going to need. For notions you just need zippers. For the pocket on the inside, um, just a standard dress zipper and the length doesn't matter that much. Um, there is a suggested length on the pattern, um, but this will actually be cut down to fit exactly into um, the pocket of the purse. So really it can be as long as you want. Um, know that some of your zipper tape will show the way it's constructed, so make sure you're okay with the color of your zipper because some of that tape is going to show. Um, but otherwise, don't worry too much about the length. And you do want to get a zipper with plastic uh, teeth, um, which is almost entirely what you find with modern dress zippers. Um, vintage ones would often have metal teeth, and those are going to be a little harder to work with because we do cut the zipper down to size, it's harder to cut through the metal teeth. So I recommend um, any length dress zipper uh, with plastic teeth. For the zipper on the purse, um, the outside, there are different kinds of uh, heavy duty zippers that you'll find. They're sometimes sold as coat zippers or jacket zippers and sometimes they will have different widths of zipper tape. Sometimes you'll find them with decorative um, decorative zipper poles. Sometimes you will find them with um, they are fully separating. That's fine. We're gonna sew over. We can sew a tab on the end so you never will actually zipper, uh, separate your zipper, so it's okay if they're separating. Um, and there is a suggested minimum length on the zipper, but I think it's okay if you go several inches longer. I have sewn bags that are many inches, that have a zipper many inches longer than the suggested length, and the zipper then just kind of tucks into the edge of the bag. So we want to look at an example of that. This, this purse um, has a very long zipper and it's metal, um, so it wasn't going to cut it down to size at all. And um, But it doesn't really matter because when you hold the purse and carry it, I tuck the zipper inside of the purse and then from the outside you don't really see anything and it stays tucked in nicely and um, it's really you know really easy to use so don't worry about having a zipper that's too long one thing you want to note is that you really don't want a zipper that's too short so this purse um, was kind of right on the very edge of 
having a purse, uh, having a zipper that's on the short end, and you see when you unzip it, um, this is kind of as short as I would go, you want to be able to open up your bag all the way, and if your zipper ends right at the edge of the purse, um, you can't really open up this end of the bag. So you want to make sure that your zipper does extend by at least a couple inches so you can get the bag fully open um, and have easy access to the full width of your purse. Um, so that is zipper selection, which really, um, there's the optional hardware and then there's the two zippers and that's all of the notions that you need to sew this bag.